That eucalyptus there is the same one as that one over there. Put them around your swimming pool, your spa. You keep them in that pot for years. It'll stay small. Put it in the ground, and it'll go to its natural height. This plant list has the heights and size and the freeze tolerance. Okay? Common names for canopy names. All this information can be found on our website very easily. Every one of these plant names on these labels can be Googled. Okay, there's no secrets, okay? So once you guys get one of these as your ammunition, have one under the cash register, have one in your pocket, you get to know the names, okay? Get a couple of yourself. Your favorite plants, take them home, put it in the garden. So, there's over 800 different types of eucalyptus trees. All come from Australia. 800. Some grow real big like those ones you see all the way from San Diego up to the coast. Okay? But some of the ones that we get from the outback, the desert, where there's no rain for many years, are the ones that you're going to be talking to your customers about. If you've got customers down in El Centro with a bit of property, well then we've got the large eucalyptus as well. Okay? All the melaleuca, these melaleuca, the seashells, they're usually planted in, um, in around um, shopping centers in the parking lot. They all come from Australia. All your bottle brushes, okay? They all come from Australia. They're all these different types of bottle brushes. And they all have this bottle brush shaped flower, don't they? Okay. Eucalyptus bottle brush and melaleuca. Why? Because they're all in the Merkel family. They're all Merkel. Okay? Ground covers are a big thing now. Okay, covering the lawn. Okay, they look for the myopora. You look for the snake. You're a monster snake. Okay, here's another one. They all have flowers, just different colours, and they all attract the hummingbird. So that's what you want. You've got a customer who comes in with an empty shopping cart, attack them. What are you here for today? Okay, good. Okay, now, what do you got? I've got this neighbor and I've got an air conditioning unit. And it's driving me crazy. I don't want to look at it. Okay, you need a tree that's in a 10 to 20 foot range, don't you? Well, yeah, and all of a sudden now you're the spiny pants, right? You drag them over to the trees and shrubs and you show them one. Pull this out and all of a sudden you've got a customer that's really, really happy because you you know what you're talking about. Right? It came blows, they've got something. Right? Really, really important. With the watering, I water all my plants on a drip system. All the greenhouses have these have an individual two gallon an hour emitter on the on the plant. Okay. So when the customer takes it home, dig a hole, double the size of the roof bowl. They use an additive uh, bag soil with the mulch in it with the bark chips because that's what the plant's eating. Put their drip system through there. And they put a two gallon an hour emitter, one on either side of the plant. Okay? And they water them every day. In the wintertime, stop three minutes. Depending on the size of it. In the summertime, when it's really, really hot, let's bump it up to five, six, seven, eight, ten minutes a day. Let's keep the root ball moist. Don't ever let it dry out. This business about deep watering. Water on a Sunday and that won't be water till next week. The plant's suffering. You're inside 120 degrees, you're inside having a beer, right? And the plant's out there going, what about me? Right? So get your system going, get them involved in the in the investment that they just made. They just spent $20 on that. Right? Take it home and water it first before you go and have a six pack, you know, and then get going. Right? Keep it Keep the plants happy, all right? Don't disturb the root system. When they buy the plant, take it home, dig the pot, dig the hole, put it in the hole, don't mess around. Don't pull it apart like they do with a rose bush or a bare root, something like that. Feed them on osmocote, okay? All our plants are grown on the osmocote, slow-release fertilizer, okay? You guys sell it, it's got the pink label on it, Okay, that's the right NPK ratio. Sell them that. Okay, get them involved. They're making an investment in their yard. You're here to help them. That's why they, they came in here. Okay, any of these plants, if you've got a customer that wants 
to know about them, we're out of your front ball of life. If you've got a plant piece, the customer wants you to, to, to find out what it is, take a picture of it and email it to us. And we'll let you know what it is. And then you can be the smarty pants again, helping your customer out. They're going to come here instead of going anywhere else. Okay? Your guys are coming to Arizona. You want to have a couple of these plants to take home and put in your yard? You're welcome to come over, visit how we grow them, put a couple of plants in here and bring them home. Put them in your yard. Then you can talk about them. You know, yes, I've got one in my yard and you should have one too. We're at Exit 81 in a little, little township called Aquahalla. So, again, uh, this is a climbing plant. There it is there. Black and yellow flowers. There's no climbers at all out there with black and yellow flowers. That thing, if you stand there long enough, it'll twine itself around you. So if you've got a fence or a garage or something like that that needs to be covered, that's the plant. So is any of you folks out here today in a, in a store um, that we don't supply yet, I know this young lady is. Um, have we got place in your store yet? Okay. Um, and that's because we're just sort of new to California. Uh, we're getting new patch areas as, as time goes on. Um, so if you're talking to Rick Noble or whoever, you know, get on the Rick and say, we'd like to have a selection of these plants too through the summertime. We'll make them available, okay? You've got some garden clubs. People want to hear about it, we'll come over and talk about it, okay? Run your phone call away. So get used to these plant lists. Get used to this list. Evergreen, no thorns, quick growing, hummingbird attractive, don't affect any animals. Let's go to kangaroo loose in your neighborhood, then we're going to have a problem. Um, kangaroo paws are all, you know, come from Australia, of course, right? These grasses, mandra, that's a new one. Uh, been growing in Australia for a long time, uses a, a medium strip plant. It doesn't burn out like a penicetum does. You know, a little ugly after a year or two. That's the plan for you. Talk about your ground cover. Get used to either a common name or a botanical name. Some people like to have you know, a common name. That's the book, the book leaf Mally, as opposed to Eucalyptus cruziana, you know. Get familiar with one or two plants that you like, and then build on it. And that's why you came to work each day to load. Well, get a paycheck that makes somebody else's yard look nice, didn't you? All right? Don't let them leave an empty shopping cart because I want the money. Right? I've got to have my nursery last forever. And I want a plant safe. And your job is to do that, but also the bottom line is to make their garden look different and unique. And beautiful. And evergreen. To keep the animals in the garden. You know, that's what it's all about. Because when we're gone, the plants, they'll be still there, doing their job. You know? Alright? Gardening is common sense. Green side up, you know. Well, thanks for your attention. All this stuff is available, like these, you know, travel that can send you these, the, the no worries mate ones are available. Banner, <laughs> these labels, you know, this. Uh, and we try to make our deliveries now every couple of three weeks uh, in the patch area. Uh, we've got some landscape architects that come in. Get them involved in it, get them, you know, buy plants from you, that is might you only have two or three. So now if you're doing a, a project um, in a customer's house or a street, we can get you, you know, 20 or 30 or 50 of, of the same variety. Get their, get their order, you know, get their attention. Tell them your the landscape's going to be better than the next person's, isn't it? You know, every garden looks the same around here. That little lagoon is, I guess, one of my favourites. That eucalyptus there, you know, it's just a shrub. Doesn't uh, doesn't have any flowers. It's just there for its foliage. So you got your people with the florist people, you know. They buy these and they put them in their yard and then they take and sell them in their in their arrangements. You know, got the red stem, and that's been in that box for three or four years already. It'll stay in the box like that, you know. So that's, that's called the coral fee, okay? Canadian. So remember all your air boxes, the emu bushes, all different 
color so they can keep hummingbirds in the garden, you know, all year round. They're everywhere. You bring them after they flower. Every plant loves a bit of them. That's a grevillea. See the red flower there? Isn't that beautiful? The grevillea? You know, you ever used the silky oak tree? Big silky oak? Okay, well, that's the shrub tree. So all these genuses, they come in all different forms. Ground cover, trees, shrubs. That's our job to get them in our head. They do not so. But it's funny that the hummingbirds will just sit there and put their, you know, their beak right in there and get the, get the pollen out. Thanks for your attention. These are available. So where is your store? In Riverside. Don't we already go there? In Riverside? Yeah. On that seventh cigar that knows we're all the